The light is okay. Are you? Can you shut that light off behind me? It was like that the entire time. I know. I want to turn it off and see what happens. That fixes a little bit better. It's not quite as like blurry, I guess. You can see your video game in the tank. Can you? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that's better, they said. Ow. Hey. Hey, you, Hannah? You know you have to set your clock forward, right? So that we, we that you get here at the right time. You're supposed to, you're you're supposed to set your clock forward tonight, just so you know. Yeah, otherwise, you're not going to be getting here till nine. Yeah, you got to make sure to set your clock. Hey, everybody! I figured I'd come back on here. He's going to play. He's going to play his video game, and I'm going to come back on here for at least a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I save any I save any big big juicy parts for bigger lives. I'm pretty sure only like a quarter of you are going to Oh, it's not you. It's a different Hannah. Okay. You looked like the other Hannah. My bad. My bad. You look like you'll look like the Hannah that's coming over tomorrow morning. I wondered, I'm like, damn, she's at work. What's she doing? Yeah, that lamp is weirder in the background too. It's not affecting this, it just looks weird. Yeah, Cynthia, me too. Me too. I don't know what to tell you. I look so cute. Thanks. I appreciate that. My YouTube has four people in it. That's why I don't like YouTube. I have to look at YouTube. I'm like, why? Nobody goes on there. Hey, Tammy. Nobody, nobody watches shit on YouTube. Like to watch a live on YouTube? People don't watch lives on YouTube. Every time I see anybody on live on YouTube, they have like six people. I watch lives on YouTube all the time. Yeah, but are they lives or are they replays? They're live. Oh. Well, apparently I'm just shitty on YouTube, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I got 264. You just started. I got two. I have 500, almost 500 fucking subscribers. Yeah, you just started. Okay, but still. I have 254 on my TikTok and three on my YouTube. What the hell does that tell you? Well, you did. they're always trying to ban TikTok. <laughs> they're always trying to ban it. So, I mean, it is what it is. They try to ban it about every, what, three months? <laughs> Just watching my reply on your afternoon one. Yeah. The, the TikTok app does look better. I'm not super thrilled with the way YouTube looks. I, even though I bought a really good YouTube, a really good webcam, I'm, I'm not super thrilled, to be honest. I'm very confused. I don't know if it's using my... It, it shows like it's using... Here, I got an idea. Yep, it's using that one. <laughs> I didn't know which one it was using. So I just went and touched it, so... I'm telling you, when you're recording, it doesn't look that good. But when you go back and watch it, it still looks shitty. <laughs> it still looks shitty. I just watched it. It looks shitty. When I used to use that camcorder to do mm. mine. Yeah, darling, go ahead. Yeah, I don't. The reason why I like the YouTube, though, um, you're you're in both nice. The reason why I like YouTube is it records my shit and it records the chat, which is nice. Of course, none of the assholes are on YouTube, so that you know I could record their shit, but. I like it that way. I know exactly what I said. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't say that. Oh, fuck you. I'll go back and watch it. It's better than me having to download my whole last wife. Is she in trouble for a threat she made? Uh, no. <clears throat> well, if you decide to return that one, I'll buy that one. You can go out back and get another one. Okay. What do you I mean? I can put that on my TV so I can do Twitch on here. It'd be webcamming you, though. Yeah, you put a little image of you in the corner. Who wants to look at you the whole time? They're supposed to be watching the a game. A lot of people, man. I'm a sexy motherfucker. Yeah, but they're supposed to be watching the game. Why don't they watch you? How does that work? I don't understand how that Just works. Trust me. Okay. Whatever. I have seven there now. Um, what is YouTube page? It is, um, well, if you go to ryan.lee.tm, it's in my link. This one has my link to my Insta. The other one has the link to my YouTube. Makes it easier to link shit, I guess. Yes, my husband one. just said that. I miss my Fritos. They're in my room. I have a, I have a drawer system that he's uh, making me here tonight. Um, that's been sitting here since Wouldn't Wednesday. Here in just a little bit. Yeah, he's it's been sitting here since Wednesday. I'm very agitated, so I I've, I'm like I need you to do this. 
because I cannot handle my desk. I want to get my vape shit in here. I want to get my desk cleaned up. Um, I, I, I don't like clutter. I do not like clutter. Uh, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be fine. Um, right. And that's what a lot of people, people have been asking me for a long time to do a YouTube just because they miss my lives and then they don't know where to get them. And I'm like, oh, I, I, mm -mm. so with, with having them on YouTube, you guys can go back and watch them. Even if you're not watching them now, you can watch them later, which is nice. But my camera is way better on, on the fucking phone. It's not very good on, on, on here. Um, one thing that's cool is my husband, my husband hates the fact that my camera is, um, flipped on my computer, but that way I actually like that because when I show you guys something, you can read it because it's flipped and you can't do that on, on, on here. So it's nice. Cause I can just show you guys in it and it works. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Fuck me. Wait, wait. Please, I stay up for 24, 36 hours. You start bitching after like hour 11. Don't even go I there. I was at work for 11 hours. That's not my point. I'm saying you can't. You have a hard time staying up all night. Don't even go there. So. No, I have a problem getting up. Anymore. Well, that too. But you, are, but you have a hard time staying up too, though. Uh, I don't like, I, like, I have stuff to say, but like at the same time, one of the things I want to say I want to make sure there's a lot of people in here before I say it. Because <laughs> I'm petty and I don't care. I am agitated. I tried to be nice. I tried to be a good person. I hate when my room is messy. Yeah, it drives me crazy. I'm thinking. I am a huge night owl. That's that's me. I'm a night owl. Jessica, I agree. I mean, it's definitely it's it's definitely nice um, to be on YouTube because the comment there's less comments, so you don't have to you know see a bunch of comments. It doesn't go as fast. It's a lot nicer to just kind of if you just want to sit and chill. It's a lot better to do it on YouTube, to be honest. Yeah, I'm a huge night owl. Like I'm normally like I I, I normally don't go to bed, bed to like three, four, whatever o'clock, and then I get up with him at ten thirty or yeah, about ten thirty. Um. You got Lost on in the back. You can't watch Lost in the background. That you can, that is one show you cannot. You cannot watch Lost in the background. You have to be able to watch it, look at it, study it. Like unless you've seen it four times, you have to actually like put your like you have to watch it. You can't just put it on the background. Oh, uh, I haven't had haters. Oh, that's me. I haven't had haters on YouTube yet. They will. I mean, I'm sure I will, but. Lost does not have 20 seasons. It has six. <laughs> I wish it had 20 seasons. It has six. I found a new show that you are going to like, may like, uh, with the uh, drug dealer from Justified, uh, Ben from Lost. It's got quite a few of the people you like. It's got Boyd? The Prime in April. Is it Boy Boyd? Boyd. So it's got Boyd and Ben. Yep. You know the game Fallout? I've heard of it. The show is coming. To I Prime. have seen From. I didn't get to see the second season. From is good though. It's coming to Prime. But it's a post-apocalyptic show. Yeah, that's gonna be a no-go for me. <laughs> it's gonna be a no-go for and, me. And it's all about. I don't know if you. Lock is on Walking Dead now. I didn't get to see the whole second one. Anyways, I'll, I'll find the trailer for you. It's coming. Send it should show me, but at the same time, like I, I have a problem with post-apocalyptic. Post Under the dome is good. War. Under the dome is good. Okay, so it's already happened. Yeah. Well, it starts off. The whole thing is it starts off. They're selling these fallout shelter plots. Yeah. And then it happens, and then the whole show is based on what uh, of the aftermath. Yeah, I don't want to watch it happen though. Am I bringing back my chill lives again? Um, yes, they're not fully in effect, and the next live I have is going to be not chill at all. Um, but yeah, um, somebody said hi, Andrew. Hi. Uh, let's see. You're or, you're organizing dinner. You're you're cleaning the house and organizing dinner. How do you organize dinner? I, I got to know how you organize dinner. Does that work? Getting all the ingredients pre-chopped and stuff and pre-bagged. That's so prepping probably, dinner. Yeah. Am I going to be up late? I don't know. I'm actually going to... Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, 
Uh, I don't know why that just went off. Was I? Are we still calling him Andrew? Uh, for now, yeah. For now. For now. That's still my name. Um, I don't know why my alarm went off for one. I have no idea. There's there's probably a reason, and I'm forgetting what it is. Um, there wasn't a lag spike. My alarm went off. I I have an alarm set for for one, and I don't know why. I don't know, but one thing: kidnappings are on the rise. Two days in a row now, my Amber Alerts have been going off. Have you watched the videos I sent you on TikTok? No. Why? It is a whole ass fucking rabbit fucking hole. And at first you're going to think I'm insane. You're going to think I'm insane. But just watch the fucking videos. So I'm going to give you guys, okay, so, okay, I'm, I'm going to lose a lot of people here. It's okay. I don't, I don't care. We're going we're gonna to talk about something crazy. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard about this. If you're conspiracy theorists, if, if you're whatever you are, I'm about to tell you a really weird story. So, as long as I, I, I'm a conspiracy theorist, okay, and I know about a lot of things I probably shouldn't know about. It, has anybody ever heard, ever heard of Bohemian Grove? Oh, yeah, I watched that. Okay, first off, that was wild. I'm going to talk about that right now. Have you guys ever heard of Bohemian Grove? It's supposed to be undercover, old, under wraps. Dude. Yeah, I, uh, No, well, he just went there. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's an old story. Oh, yeah. Bohemian Grove has been, has been okay, so Bohemian Grove has been a thing that has been around for a long, long time. Nobody can find it. Nobody's ever been there. Anybody who's been there doesn't talk about it. Yada, 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 yada. Yes, Nicole, that's what I'm going to talk about. There is an account. I expect it to be axed really fucking quick. Okay, really fucking quick. This particular account has the entire, entire video from when he was at Bohemian Grove. Now, here's what's even weirder. On top of having all of the videos from Bohemian Grove, and it's it's fucking Bohemian Grove, okay? From on top of and, and and he's going in there and he's looking at everything and uh, they have like I've seen accounts that have one video or two video. There's like nine on this account. Okay, there's like nine. But here's the kicker. It gets crazier. So I've seen the videos, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's definitely Bohemian Grove. Like, everything I've ever heard about it, whatever. And there is a video. One, two, three, four, five. I want to say seven down. And, okay, this is where the conspiracy comes in. Because we all know that Bohemian Grove exists, just nobody ever found it. Well, the whole reason he found it is because he went and he went on, uh, he talked to what, was it Joe Rogan? I can't even remember. He went on, uh, Andrew Tate. Anyway, he went to one of those crazy people and he, he, he called him up. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to, I'm going to show this. Nobody can stop me. You know, fuck them. Fuck everybody. They drug me there. They made me do these things. Um, I watched them do horrible things to kids and fuck them. I'm going to expose everything. And he puts out the videos. Okay. Now. And if you, if you know, you know what I'm going to talk about here. Most of you won't, so that's okay. Now there is a video of him after he made a video. Where very, and I didn't show you that video. That video is not on there, weirdly. Where he, uh, after the videos get released, he puts out a video and he talks about how, oh, hey, yeah, um, they've, they've taken my, they've frozen my bank accounts. They've taken my credit cards. I can't do anything. They have stopped me completely. I'm frozen on everything. I can't touch my money. They have, they've taken everything. They've taken my phone. Um, I guess somebody was recording it for him and posted it for him. They took his phone. They took his, they took his credit. They took his money. They, I mean, they locked him down, right? Two days ish later, there's a video of him sitting in a chair and it's on this account that I'm talking about with the full thing of Bohemian Grove. And he is sitting there. And if you know, you know, very calm, very peacefully addressing that, you know, you've seen these, you know, you've seen a lot of crazy things recently, but I'm about to get back into what I usually do. And I use all of your support and I thank all of you for everything that you've ever done. 
And I really do want to get back to everything normal. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So there was a guy. Um, there was a guy he had he had put out there. Um, he had put a guy. Uh, there was a guy and he was out driving. And he saw a giant. Oh, no, wait, wait. That was the second time. That was the first time? Second time. The other guy did the other thing. Okay. He saw a giant up on a mountain, right? Oh, my God, giant. Yeah. Follow me here. So he puts this video up of this giant on this mountain. And he tries to go back. And he, so he's, and this is, this is not conspiracy. This did happen. So just go with me on this. He puts a video up of a, of a, of a giant, whatever. And he starts getting followed around. And then he get he gets on he gets on TikTok and he's like, every um that was all just nothing um it was all I just made it all up everything's fine I didn't do anything it's it was just something I did for TikTok I didn't do anything one of those right then uh, x amount of days weeks later he go I mean he goes radio fucking silent he is gone and then. All of a sudden, you see him holding the phone, and he's rushing around his apartment. He's like, you are never going to hear from me again. Everything was a lie that I said. It was all a lie. It all happened. It all happened. It was real. It was real. And it cuts off. You can look up this motherfucker's obituary. He died. He died. And guess what? Guess by Anybody want to guess how he died? Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess? How do they always go when this happens? Anybody? Any, nope. No. What what always happens? I'm going to I'm going to give you a couple of names. Chester Bennington, Epstein. Are you catching what I'm laying down? Self-inflicted. Everything's always self-inflicted. There was a, so there's a rabbit hole that you go down, right? There's a rabbit hole, and th that guy's obituary is up. I've seen it, by the way. Um, and he self-inflicted, uh, and so he was taken care of, right? And you start going down these weird rabbit holes. Now, I am gonna lose a. If you are not into weird conspiracies, I am going to lose you here. You're probably gonna want to scroll, to be honest. Okay, I started seeing this weird conspiracy, and. So some people that had been on the Bohemian Grove started going down another rabbit hole. And now this one isn't connected. It's not connected. But somebody said, I, w I started here and I ended here. And finally here made another rabbit hole I saw a couple weeks ago make sense. Now, if you guys have seen the videos going around of Chester Bennington and Joe Podesta, I had no idea what the fuck that one had to do with the other i had no fucking clue joe podesta is some big wig in fucking congress government whatever i had no idea what the hell that was talking out about and he looks exactly like chester bennington who also self-inflicted okay um and there was a guy danny danny kappa something like that something like that and he was talking about how he told the government he had a death switch and a death switch is when you know things you know things and you know that you're on the list to be self-inflicted. So you talk about having a death switch. And that means if something happens to me, a switch will go off and the information will be released. Well, this guy, and it's, it's, it's on, it's on, I, I was liking the video so I can find him later. Right? His name was Danny something. And he went on and he talked about this and he had, he had outed like Seth Green and somebody else. I don't even know. Oh, we're going to talk about Podesta. We're going to talk about Podesta. Cappy. Okay, it was Cappy. And he's talking about how... I know, right? So he was talking about how he was, there was going to be an uptick in unalivings. And then he got unalived by himself, allegedly. Okay? So there is a video. While you go down that rabbit hole, this is how I'm going to attach you to Podesta. And this is when I sent my husband that he's not seen, apparently. How it is on TikTok still, I have no idea. Isaac Cappy out of Tom Hanks, Seth Green, and Steven Spielberg. Okay. So, okay. So, the Podesta video. The Podesta video. If you guys just go into your bar, I am not going to play it on here. I have no idea how it is still on TikTok. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So there is a video. Um, and this video, um, okay, so there's the video. And then there's people who have audio engineered enhanced it. And people who have put a voice matcher on it. And people who have put a clip of the person in the video with Joe Podesta. And if you are telling me, I'm telling you, if you, if you watch the clips of the people putting them side by side, it is uncanny. Okay, if it is not him, if it is not him, then there's more things going on than ever. But this video, I'm, I'm going to sum it up for you. There is, it's a dark room and there's weird lights going on. And this has to do with club ping pong. If anybody knows about club ping pong and what happened there. Um, and... Um, it was uh, essentially got brought in with P rings. Okay. And in this particular video of allegedly Joe Podesta at allegedly Club Ping Pong, allegedly behind the walls of Club Ping Pong, while allegedly the lights were playing at Club Ping Pong, there is a video that is so awful to hear audioly that you would assume it was fake. It is not fake. It is real and it is one of the most why and this i don't get rattled i don't get rattled okay i don't yes it has to yeah and okay so uh i'm wondering if, if uh you're doing that but i don't know so anyways um yes it has to do with pizzas and hot dogs and ice cream absolutely so um this audio, I wasn't prepared to hear. Yeah, I know. Cappy did say they were going to do it. That's why he said he had a death switch. And they did it anyway. So, this this audio, um, I mean, hold on. I'm just going to play you a tiny, tiny, tiny portion of it. And I mean a tiny portion. I mean abysmally tiny portion. But I just want to show you guys... Uh, um, I sent it to my husband, so I know I can find it that way. Um, okay, hold on. There's the Bohemian Grove thing. Here is this. Okay, I might have to play this one. I sent him two different ones. I'm about to show it was uploaded to Twitter on February 15th, 2017. Warning viewer discretion is extremely Trigger warning. And this Trigger warning. not for the faint of heart. Trigger warning. You think I... That's a third of the video. Okay. That's a third of the video. And what you're hearing is he's yelling, you know, I am your father. Who am I? Who am I? Tell me who you are. And the child is having boiling water poured on them. And in the middle of it, he starts singing to himself. He's singing to himself. And so in the clip that I have and the clip that I, that I, that I just started to show part of that. What they did was they took the voice in the beginning and they played Podesta's voice. And it is, when I say uncanny, it's uncanny. Okay. Um, well, what, well, I was okay with the audio. I was okay with the audio. Like I, I'm fucked up in the head, so I can deal with a lot of shit. Okay. I'm good. When that motherfucker started singing to himself, I was done. I was done. Okay. I'm listening and I'm like, okay, like I like to me, I can decompartmentalize. I'm like, okay, this is a, this is a movie. This isn't real. I could I can listen to this, but when that motherfucker started singing to himself, I I did not realize that that was him doing that. So he is doing these things to this child, and you hear the child at one point scream, "I'm just a kid." 
And uh, allegedly there was water being boiling water being poured on this child. Okay. And this video went dark. This video went dark. This happened in 2017 and essentially kind of got wiped off the internet. Some people got a hold of it. It's making the rounds again on TikTok. And when they did some audio engineers, um, just look up Podesta, put up put in your search bar, bar, put in Podesta video. What you'll see is a, it's a very dark, it's like this. And when you play it, it will have, let's see. You will call me It'll have lights. And it's wild, okay? And so what's weird in all of this, and I guess this is how it kind of got tied to Bohemian Grove. So that video, which they say is Podesta, I have no idea if it is or it isn't, it sure sounds like him. Podesta has been going around. Okay, because Ryan, Gar that's, I'm, I'm, go I'm, le I'm going back to that, Chloe. So Podesta, who was allegedly on that video, is also allegedly Chester Bennington's actual dad. They look insanely like Chester Bennington looks like a fucking clone of Podesta minus 30 years. I, I, when I first looked at it, I thought it was like a father, like whatever. So people are saying it's his father, that it was like, he was a bastard child, whatever. Okay. Whether it is or isn't people have shown his real or not or whatever. And so then you go into Chester. Well, we all know everybody is always talking about the fact that they, that they don't think Chester actually did it to himself, right? And then that then that goes into you go into things like Kanye. Kanye is one of the ones that oh, we're gonna go down a humongous fucking rabbit hole right now. If you do not understand conspiracy theories, Illuminati, any of that, just feel free to scroll because you are not gonna understand any of the shit I am laying down at this point. There's a thing. Called the Illuminati. Married Marjorie Taylor Greene. Huh? I said I married Marjorie Taylor Greene. So anyway, you 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 <laughs> you listen to all this stuff too. We are going so, deep. Britney Spears. We are going deep tonight, okay? Oh, no, so about the don't get me started. So, yeah, anyways, like so <laughs> in for the Illuminati, for the uh, Corey, uh, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, that does not that that's not Illuminati, but I know what you're speaking of. Um, so with the Illuminati, there are rules. There are rules to be initiated into the Illuminati that may not, may or may not allegedly exist. Okay. And uh, Tom Hanks uh, is allegedly in the Illuminati. Um, I will give you some names and maybe it will make sense to you. I don't know. Doja Cat, Kanye West, um, Adam Sandler. Um, and I'm going to tell you how you can look these people up to see if they are supposedly in the Illuminati. Orlando's supposed to be in it. Um, Sam Smith. Um, yes. Try, okay. It's okay. It, okay. So Illuminati has a triangle of that. If you really want to deep dive into this, go watch anything that Jim Carrey has talked about in the last 10 years. I will. I'm gonna blow your guys' mind with Jim Carrey in about five minutes. I've always told you guys I don't like Jim Carrey. There's a reason. There's a reason. Right. There's a reason. We're gonna talk about Jim Carrey in a minute. So one of the things about the Illuminati is there's rules. You either have to unalive somebody, or you have to do a public humiliation ritual. Now, if you guys know Doja Cat, we watched her spiral. Britney Spears, we watched her spiral. Kanye, his mom died. Um, there's there, uh, there, but here's the other kicker on top of the Illuminati. I don't care. Ready? You can go crazy. This is one of my things. I love this. So one of the ways that you're supposed to be able to know if a star or a normal person, usually not normal people, just stars. Um, South Jersey, been there, done that, already got the postcard, can already tie it. That's where my brain goes. I've already, I've already tied it. I've, I came up. I mm, anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue. Could I throw that out there about Gypsy? Yes. Have I, have I done it? Yes. Somebody was unalived. Great fortune and fame. I mean, it does work. Anyway, but one of the ways that, that supposedly you can tell um, is the left black eye. If you see a, a, a star, a celebrity that suddenly has a left black eye, it's usually right here. And there are people like the Pope. 
I mean, it's the black eye club. Exactly. It's wild. It's never the right eye. It's always the left eye. And so there is, if you Google anywhere, if you put in Illuminati left black eye, you will see tons of stars with this left black eye. Okay. So there, you know, when Kanye went cuckoo a while ago, and when Britney Spears has went cuckoo, and Taryn Manning is one right now that, and if you go, who the hell is Taryn Manning? She was Punk Satani in uh, Orange is the New Black. And she was going on and on about how they wanted her to drink the gold juice. Does anybody remember that? The gold juice. And everybody thought she was batshit. Well, um, Sandra Bullock went on. And the gold juice is, and I'm going to say the word wrong. It has to do. I'm going to sound so fucking crazy after this. Okay. So I already sound crazy. Adronochrome. Adronochrome. Thank you. Andromachrome. I was right. Okay. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Awesome. So Andronochrome. You, a lot of you guys know this. All right. You are my people. Adronochrome is a real thing. It is a real fucking thing. And a lot of celebrities deal in Andronochrome. And go Google it. I can't. I can't explain. I can't explain it. But um, it can or cannot be allegedly tied to, I don't know, babies. Anyway, and uh, Ohio had 16,000 of them. I mean, 16 of them missing. Stem cells, etc. So adrenochrome is what they call the gold juice. Okay. So we're going real wild here. It's going to go back to Ryan Garcia. So Kanye, as you know, he went, he went wild for a minute, right? He's talking about all sorts of crazy shit because that's what happens when you start pushing against Hollywood. You go crazy. They all do. A Anne Heche, Kanye West, Britney Spears, Jim Carrey, they all went crazy, right? And nobody believed them. They're not to be believed. They're not to be believed. They are absolutely just nuts, right? Taryn Manning. And so... If you go through and you go watch Jim Carrey's shit, there is a clip and it is wild. Okay. Yeah. Cat Williams talks about it. And there's a clip of Jim Carrey and he's on, I want to say Jimmy Kimmel. Is it Jimmy Kimmel? Okay. Some of you guys are talking about Illuminati and some of you guys are talking about something else. <laughs> they're, they're connected, but not connected. Okay. So Jim Carrey gives zero fucks. He must have a dead switch that rivals, I don't know, the whole Roman Empire. He's got to have a dead switch on him that is wild. Well, because they let him talk. They let him talk. Okay? And um, yeah, the 27 Club is the same. They let him talk, but they won't let him in anything anymore. Right. That has to be well, what he gave up. Well, not only that, Nobody. but... He walked away from Hollywood. His his girlfriend, um, they tried to blame him for her death, the whole nine. Jim Carrey went on a interview. And if, if you guys, after you will get off of here, look up Jim Carrey, Jimmy Kimmel. There's a clip and it is wild. And I'm going to tell you why it's wild. Jim Carrey comes out completely, completely and goes off the, off the script, off everything. He walks out onto the stage. And you hear you hear everybody in the crowd. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? And Jim Carrey starts talking. He's like, "Oh, hold on. You know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna fucking look it up. I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. You need to hear what it. What is that? You know what it is. Yeah. And Jimmy Kimmel, you what are you doing? What it is. And he Jim he's like, oh, you, you know, can't tell me you, you don't know, know what that is. you know. But here's the kicker. I'm gonna tell you guys something crazy. I'm gonna play it for you, and then I'm gonna tell you something crazy. So, because I did not know this, even I did not know this, and um. Okay, Jimmy Kimmel. All right, so, all right, I'm going to show you guys it right here. I'm going to show you guys it. So this is a real thing that happened, and then I'm going to tell you. I want you to listen to the track, because I'm going to tell you something. I can sound right now. Hold on. By the time it kicks on, it should be okay. So I'm going to show you guys something, and then I'm going to tell you something that is going to, that's going to be like, what the fuck, because I didn't know this. This is where I realized that Jim Carrey gives zero fucks, okay? Okay, I got, I got to wait for my sound bar. Hold on. One second. I forgot him. Okay. 
I realize I'm still on YouTube. Unfortunately, I know that I can stream this. Just give me a second. I forgot I was on there. Okay, guys, listen to what it's saying. This is all unscripted. Jimmy Kimmel is lost. There is one on YouTube. I decide I'm just doing this right now. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. Watch the clip. You're right, Sal. You're right. Listen to the clip. Bohemian Grove. That room was silent. All of those laugh tracks were added afterwards. That room was silent. People didn't know what the fuck was going on. That room was dead ass silent. By the way, Jimmy Kimmel just did it. I just I just looked over and he's doing it. Um, that it was shook. They were shook. That room was dead ass silent when he came out. That was unscripted. That was completely unscripted. And, um, yeah, there's only four people in there. We're good. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So you don't think he was mocking the conspiracy? Here's the deal. Would I have thought he was mocking it? That's how, what, that's what we're supposed to think. I'm not conspiracizing here. That's what we're supposed to think. We're supposed to think that Jim Carrey is a little Looney Tune, Looney Tune, you know, right? So, but then he went on to go and talk about this and many other avenues. He had started talking about it all over the place. Now, I don't have ins, outs, knows. I know nothing. I'm only talking about the fact of what I've seen, okay? I have no idea. I've never been to Bohemian Grove. But to circle this all back to Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, like I said, he started going. He started freaking out. He started putting all these things out there. And... um. He put all these videos out. He said he didn't give a fuck. He didn't care, blah, blah, blah. 
And now he, and then he said all the shit was taken. And now it's, I'm fine. Everything is fine. I, I don't know that all of that was just nothing. And so that's when, here I go, sounding completely nuts again. They talk about deprogramming and or clones. That's what happens. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's a it's a weird rabbit hole. It's a really weird, really weird rabbit hole. Um, people talk about MK Ultra. People talk about um, Illuminati. Like, do I know which one it is? No, I don't know what it is. I know that there's a lot of crazy shit that goes on. So Kanye and Britney were supposed to be either defector from from what I, from what I'm gathering from the conspiracy conspiracy networks. I think they were defectors of the Illuminati. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really sure what happens. All I know is they start to lose credibility. And, you know, in the beginning, people more conspiratorial than I. More conspiratorial than I. I had not gotten into, like, super conspiracy theories of that. Like, I like I, I, yeah, I have my own right here. But, I mean, like, I wasn't into, like, that kind of shit yet. And Kanye is going off the rails, going, you know, whatever. And he did. He disappeared and he came back and he was all types of different. He was all types of different. If you look at Kanye in the beginning where he was like, ah, and then he kind of disappeared. And then he came back and he was, quote unquote, more normal. And that happens a lot. That happens a lot. Now, they say that, you know, they say that Britney Spears doesn't even exist. And um, one of the things that's weird about Britney Spears is okay so she got put in a conservator uh, conservator for years right right south and that's that's one of the things is at first i just thought kanye was nuts and then and and while this was happening people were like kanye like listen to kanye like listen to him and i'm like why would you what he no and now yeah dave chappelle yes dave chappelle's a big one yes yes um and uh so Yes. So Chloe, that's what I'm going to talk about. So with Britney Spears, what's weird is she went away for this, this conservatorship. She comes back out, she gets out of it and she don't even look like the same person anymore. She doesn't act like the same person. She doesn't look like the same person. She doesn't sound like the same person. So then they started throwing out, well, Britney has had all this trauma. She has DID. And they're like, so, you know, she's got, you know, because one, like, sometimes you'll catch her and she's talking. A lot of times she talks in a British accent. And sometimes she'll talk in a, like, beyond Southern accent. And, but what did it for me, and this is what Chloe was talking about. What did it for me is there is one where Brittany is dancing. And by the way, they're all green screens. They're all green screens. When she's in her old house, when she's outside and the flowers aren't moving, they're all green screens. Oh, we'll get into the glitches in a second. And she's dancing and she moves her arm over her face. And there was a thing called the Britney filter. She moves her arm over her motherfucking face and the, the Britney filter came off and the face changed. Somebody was, that was not Britney. When she moved, her eye color changed, her everything. It was wild. Her wedding was weird because some of the photos were photoshopped. Some of the some of the photos were photoshopped. Um, and it's it's wild. Um, her you're saying her that her death certificate was leaked years ago. Uh, the car crash. Are you talking about the car crash? Like Diana's car crash. Um, so there's glitches. If you guys know about glitches, there's glitches. There's glitches from the clones. Just so you know, Katy Perry is a huge glitch clone. Um, Cardi B is a huge glitch clone. Yeah, the, it has to do with like the lizard eyes, the glitches, the whole nine. Um, there is. Um, I watched. I once. I once watched a glitch compilation of of uh, what was it? Tom oh, Brady. Okay. Yeah, I said it wrong. Tom Brady, uh, the bunch of them where they will be talking. And it was, it was a lot like the thing with Ryan Garcia in that video. They will be whatever. And they're just, uh, oh, L Roker. L Roker had a huge one. L Roker had a huge one. They'll just be talking. And then all of a sudden they just, 
It's almost like an absent seizure. Yeah, so you just said it too. It's like it's almost like an absent seizure. They'll be talking, and then all of a sudden they just and then somebody will touch them. Then it's usually a touch on the bottom. Or it's, there's a whole theory to this. There they will touch them in the middle of this where a tramp stamp would be. And in this compilation video, there was when these people would glitch, they would it's like a reset button. It's like a reset button. Katy Perry is not John Benet Ramsey. I know that is a that is a huge conspiracy. Katy Perry is not fucking John Bonet. <laughs> unless she is, unless I need to go down that rabbit hole. But there is a there is a reset button on where the tramp stamp is. And if you touch it, they stop glitching. Um, there is a great glitch video of Katy Perry reprogramming her eye when her eye slid off her face and she reprogrammed her eye. There's that one. Totally caught on live video. This was not photoshopped or whatever. Um, there's one with Cardi B um, on a red carpet ex uh, on a on a red carpet thing. There is Al Roker during uh, some type of outside event. There it is. Wow! Look up celebrity glitches or celebrity clones. It's the same thing because they're saying that these people are no longer there anymore. That they're cloned. Um. Mitch McConnell, <laughs> that's why they call him Glitch Mitch. That's why they call him Glitch Mitch, just so you know. Yeah. Um, he did step down from Congress. I wonder what's going to happen he's next. He's retiring. Yeah, well, he's yeah. not running for re-election. Right, well, whatever. He, he's retiring. Um, Avril Lavigne is not necessarily supposed to be cloned. She is supposed to be have a body double named Melissa, is the Avril Lavigne theory. Is she has a body double named Melissa. Um, and she also supposedly died in a car crash in between album one and album two um, as well. A lot of car crashes, uh, issues. Uh, Paul McCartney, I have, I've, I've heard of that one. There is, there's quite a few. Y'all can't possibly believe this. Anything's up for debate. Anything's up for debate. Um, now, that's not the, uh, the thing with left eye. I don't know. Kevin Hart, I can't remember. What other celebrities? There's a bunch. There's a bunch, you guys. There's a bunch. Um, you can you can look up anything. You can look up celebrity glitches. You can look up the Illuminati. You, there, there's a bunch of different stuff that goes on, supposedly, with the Hollywood elite. The Andromacrone. Andromacrone is an actual, really real thing. Yes, they talk about transfer of their consciousness. There is... Who is the rapper? Who is the rapper? That talks about the fact that they are cloned. Quit. There's a rapper. He's he's not a big rapper. He's he's a, he's a he's a either an up and comer or like a Z list rapper. Um, and he talks about the fact that he is in fact a clone, which was wild watching him talk. By the way, um, I don't know. I can't. I I don't know who it is. Why do you guys keep saying Tom McDonald? I've never heard of that. The tunnels under the White House. Yeah, I heard of that. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, there is a lot of crazy, wild conspiracy theories out there. Um, well, I know who Tom McDonald is. I know who he is. I came across a really horrible, stupid video of him, and now it's in my watch history on YouTube. That agitated the shit out of me. No, it's some nobody rapper. He's a nobody but he went on to talk about how he was cloned and all of this. Um, it's give me Riley. She when she itches her ears, she moans. She's a weird dog. Um, throw some more things. Yeah, I've heard about the tunnels in DC. I've heard about that. I don't know. Matthew Perry. I I just think Matthew Perry had too much that night. I don't think that that was. I don't think that was anything. I do know that you know. Well, I mean, if you get into Kurt Cobain. It's not the fact anybody wanted to shut him up. It's the fact that everybody thinks that Courtney did it. Eminem, I've never heard of. I've, I've never heard any of that with Eminem. I've never heard of that. Um, Doja Cat, eh, that would be more Illuminati. She did a, uh, a humil she did quite a few humiliation rituals. A lot of hum uh, humiliation rituals. Um, Sam Elliott is a clone. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, yeah, Kurt Cobain, everybody, the, the thing is, is when you, and people have been saying we need to go look back in it, look back in it, look back in it. 
Um, from what I understand, and from what I understand, when they try to do a reenactment, um, what should have happened with Kurt Cobain could not have happened with Kurt Cobain, which is another reason why the Courtney theory does hold weight or somebody theory, somebody theory. Um, there's a couple, there's quite a few people that they say, you know, I know Chester's one of them. Epstein's one of them. Um, I've heard, uh, there's the other guy. I can, I can see him in my brain, but I can't think of his name. The guy who was, um, pleasuring himself and accidentally hung himself on a doorknob. Danny something. Somebody help me. I know, I know somebody in here fucking knows it. Um, Somebody, Koresh? That's not right. There, oh, and then there was, uh, no, not Bob Saget. There was a, um, it's Red Shoe Society, not Red Scarf. It's Red Shoe Society. Um, But there is, what are we talking about? Conspiracy shit. Uh, it was a guy. Oh, my God. Can, can, Keith Carradine? Keith Carradine. Yeah, David, shut up. I know who David, Car that's what I said. I knew it wasn't him. David Carradine. Yes, it was David Carradine. Um, there's a lot of people that they think that supposedly unalive themselves that did not. Um, Aaron Carter is a very strange story. I'm not going to lie. Aaron Carter is a very strange story. The The crime scene was mishandled. Um, oh, they all had a red scarf around their neck. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, I know that he had used... Is it neckties, I want to say? I don't remember. Um, yeah, you had a free month. That's what I thought. I didn't get it. I didn't get my reward from you today this month. Sorry. It's okay. I just, I, I just got on the check because I was wondering why oh. I didn't have mail. I'm not stupid because I did technically pay, but um, Aaron and Carter's story is very weird because it doesn't make sense at all. The crime scene doesn't make sense. I forgot he was dead. Yeah. Um, the and, and the crime scene doesn't make any sense at all. You said Aaron Carter, I'm thinking, what about him? And then you start talking about that. Yeah, like, oh, it's man. weird. And he and by the way, by the way, Aaron Carter, he literally had went on video, went on a live. I think it, he had started talking on lives about how somebody was gonna kill him. He started talking about it. Aaron Carter was gonna talk. Who was he gonna talk to? He was gonna talk to Kanye. I'm just remembering all this shit. Aaron Carter was talking about he was going to talk to Kanye. And he was going on lives saying that there were people that were going to go out, that, that, that somebody was coming after him. And then he was dead. He was, he was supposed to go talk with Kanye. You're right. Um, he did that 12 hours before he passed away by, a, by a, an accidental overdose in his bathtub. Where they completely trampled the scene. And um, the jets were set too high and they left, they left half the shit at the crime scene and he was basically boiled into a soup. The water should have cooled, but it, it was all fucked up. It was all fucked up. It was all fucked up. Matthew Perry did drown. Aaron Carter drowned. Whitney Houston drowned. Bobby, Bobby Houston drowned. Wow, there's a lot of drownings. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Drownings, hangings, yeah. Dolores O'Riordan drowned too? I didn't know that. Obama chief drowned. Now it's heart attacks. Awesome. Um, reverse reverse baptism, definitely. Um, Robin Williams. I don't know. Are you guys both talking about Robin Williams? I don't know. I don't know. Jim Morrison drowned. I don't know about Robin Williams. Yeah, he 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 had some demons. He had some demons. So I, I I think Robin Williams may have been. Also, don't forget Robin Williams had just been diagnosed with um what was it Louis Body? Didn't Robin Williams just get diagnosed with Louis Body when it happened? I want to say, I'm almost positive somebody had just got. Okay, yeah. Robin Williams had just been diagnosed with Louis body. And if you don't know what Louis body is, it's bad. 
Louis body is bad. You basically shut in. You just, you shut in and you shut down, you shut in and you shut down. And it's, 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 it's a dementia that is the worst fucking dementia. Uh, my, one of my favorite bands, Mariana's Trench, his mom has Louis body and she used to be really big in the music industry. He doesn't have Louis body. He has a different type frontal something, um, and dysphagia and things like that. Um, but she has Louis body and she, she bear, you know, they, they mumble to themselves and it's, 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 yeah, it's something else. And so if Robin Williams was already battling, he was, you know, recovering addict and he just got diagnosed with Louis body. He may have just been like, yeah, frontal temporal is what Bruce Willis has. Yes. Um, P Diddy, P Diddy. Oh man. So th there's some stuff on P Diddy. There's, you know, you know that they're tying him to Tupac, right? Like definitively tying him to Tupac. The red scarf is what happens when, when they unalive themselves and they didn't unalive themselves apparently. Um, yeah, like they're, they're like really definitively trying to tie P Diddy to Tupac. I don't know. I mean, yeah, dementia's awful. Dementia's fucking awful. I didn't really know about the red scarf thing personally. I've heard of the red shoe club. I've heard of the red shoe club. I've not heard of, I've the... Heard of the red hat club. <laughs> that that that's so much nicer than what we're talking about. Though. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, not Marilyn Manson. Uh, so okay, so okay, let's let's deep dive into a, a huge conspiracy. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right, so. They restricted my visibility because I apparently vaped. That's okay. All good. I don't give a fuck. I got enough people in here. We're going to talk conspiracy theories. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. You do know that in her autopsy, she didn't have any of those fucking sleeping pills in her system, right? Heather O'Rourke died of a bowel obstruction. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe, we all we all know what happened to her. She she was diddling both the JFKs, about the, the, the FKs, sorry, RFK and JFK. And she knew secrets. She knew secrets. And she offered to talk about those secrets. And then they said that she OD'd. But she didn't even have anything in her system from the things that I've read. But she was talking about secrets. She she knew things. She knew things. She knew crazy things. Big things. Supposedly, she had taken a bunch of barbiturates. But from what I, if I remember correctly, I'll look it up. My YouTube only has 11 people in here. We're good. Marilyn, hold on. Marilyn Monroe, no obit. It's, hold on. Um, it says a uh, obituate overdose, but then... There was no, there was no, um, there was no note found. Um, they had said everybody had uh, attribute, attributed it to a drug. Um, but they found her with a telephone in her hand. The, why is this on .gov? This is from the Library of Congress. Oh, it's a picture. Okay, it's a picture. This is on the Library of Congress. So there's a picture. Date date published 1962. Medium one drawing crayon graphite and opaque white. Summary. Editorial editorial cartoon shows Marilyn Monroe's bare arm on the bed with a telephone in her hand. Various bottles and a lighted lamp stand on the bedside table. Downtown Hollywood can be seen through the window. Monroe, known as a sex symbol as a fine actress, was found dead of a drug overdose in her bed on August 5th, 1962. Although the death was ruled and a self-inflicted unaliving at the time, reports that she was found with a telephone in her hand lead many to believe that she was trying to call for help and that her death had been accidental. That's so weird that this, I just randomly come across something on .gov. Um, but there was... There was a lot of 
A lot of controversy. A lot of controversy. Here's a podcast that claims the scene was staged. So, yeah, there, there was a lot of crazy shit there. Princess Diana. That was weird. I still remember exactly where I was when that happened. It was 1997. I was heading back. I was pissed because I took the day off of work and there was bus races. And I um, I was crying because I took the whole last day off of work and we couldn't get in. And we were driving. We were, and we were just past the fucking speedway. And wow. it came on the radio. And people, then there's the people, have you guys ever seen this? I'm sure you have, of course. Have you ever seen the people that supposedly die, but then you see them later? They're still later. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, like, people say, like, oh, yeah, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe's still alive. Elvis is still alive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. Um, I, I don't really know about all that. That's not a Mandela effect. That's not a Mandela effect. Yeah, there, Tupac's alive. Elvis is alive. Uh, Marilyn Monroe's alive. Yeah. Michael Jack. Oh, okay. So there's a whole thing about Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson knew this guy named Dave. And Dave, Dave was, he had, he was deformed, not deformed, disfigured. Dave was disfigured. And um, they were seen in the same rooms together, whatever. And then Michael Jackson had also made himself up to look like Dave. And people thought that after Michael Jackson passed, he was he that Dave was who because they sounded a lot alike. They sounded a lot alike. Elvis is Bob Joyce in Arkansas. He'd be like a hundred by now, though. I think. Yeah, Dave's father caught him on fire. It was wild. It was wild. I mean, he was like big disfigured. He, he'd be 89. Damn. Yeah, I mean, that's old. And with his diet and his lifestyle, yeah, no, he'd be dead. Probably. Um, you seen the uh, nice CC? I appreciate that. That shocked me. I did not think that was going to happen, by the way. I was very like, what the fuck? What is going on? Um, Brittany Murphy and her husband dying the exact same way. So, okay. Hold on a minute. Riley! Brittany Murphy and her husband dying the exact same way was extremely weird. They did die in the same house. They did have the same symptoms. One could believe that something in the house did it, but there was other people in the house that nothing happened to. You know, she had been sick for some time, and then he got sick. They both died. Um, it was definitely, um, they tested for carbon monoxide. They said it wasn't carbon monoxide. They said that there wasn't a lot of different things going on. Um, her, yeah, her mom was in the house. She was fine. Um, so it, it was definitely, definitely strange. And they had a very strange relationship, Brittany and her husband. They had a very strange relationship. Yeah, they tried to say it was pneumonia. Mm-hmm. Um, it was not, whatever it was, was not natural causes. You ain't going to tell me. Brittany Murphy, now I will tell you this. And, and before she passed, at, at 32, I believe, um, she had had a problem with, you know, she, she had definitely become like anorexic. She was very little. And it would take nothing to do something, if that makes sense. Okay, she was, at that point, she, Hollywood was getting to her head. She was fucked, you know, she was messed up with all of it. She was very little. And whatever they were doing um, would probably be very easy to do. What, whatever it was, whatever it was, would probably be very easy to pull off. Because she was tiny. She was itty bitty when she passed. I mean, the girl was skin and fucking bones. Um, yeah, the, ba 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 The eight mile house is the eight mile house is haunt. What? What did you just say? They said Brittany Murphy's house was haunted. That's why Brittany Spears moved out. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um, she said she was being watched and she was paranoid. I didn't delve too deep into that one. I just knew it wasn't right. It was weird. 
Neil Armstrong said some crazy shit once. You guys ready for some crazy shit about Neil Armstrong? So Neil Armstrong has been to the moon. If you guys don't know who Neil Armstrong is, he was like, what, the first man on the moon or was that the other guy? Anyway, he was on the moon at some point. <laughs> There's him and the other guy get confused. The Neil Armstrong. Yeah, the, the moon landing was fake. Anyway, um, so um, I'm... Uh, I'm I'm here or there with the moon landing. I definitely have some things where I do think it possibly could have been faked. Um, not for the reasons that other people do, though. Not for the the Buzz Aldrin. Okay, yeah, I've seen science debunking it. So there you go, Buzz Aldrin. That's the yeah, guy that I was trying to think science, of. Anyways, science. I'm talking and I'm I'm going to finish what I was saying. So Neil Armstrong went to um, Antarctica, and now y'all know yeah, conspiracy that's, that's theories. Buzz Aldrin. Was, was that Buzz Aldrin? Aldrin? That was Buzz Aldrin. Okay, that was Buzz Aldrin. My bad. I get the two confused. I told you that. Um, so Buzz Aldrin went to Antarctica. I want to say it was I thought it was Neil Armstrong. It was Buzz Aldrin. Does anybody anybody want to confirm? You guys know where I'm going with this. So he went to Antarctica, and for those of you that don't that don't follow the flat earth theory. Or just the Antarctica theory, as far as that goes, because they they're they're the same, but they're different. There's people who can believe in the Antarctica without believing about flat Earth and vice versa. But essentially, there's this yeah the ice wall, um, which usually tends to go with the flat Earth theory. But at any rate, Antarctica is a weird place. It's just it's just a straight weird place. Regardless, he just talked about it earlier this week. What? So Buzz Aldrin goes down to Antarctica, right? And he has a heart attack. Well, I guess when he comes back. I don't remember. I, I, it's a hazy. Anyways, Buzz Aldrin, he goes down there and comes back. He has like a heart attack or some shit, right? And he gets on Twitter. And apparently nobody told him that the internet is forever. And he gets on and there's screenshots. And that's legit. It, it, it went up and it went down in like five minutes. And he said, well, some, what, oh God, somebody can probably tell me what it is. I could probably look it up. About... There's things there we should have never messed with or something. Okay, so things that we shouldn't mess with. Now, there is definitely, with Antarctica, you know, if you don't want to believe in the flat earth theory, which is fine. I mean, obviously, um, it's, 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 it's not normal. Okay, so let's put that one off the table. Okay, the earth is round. We've seen it. Okay, let's put that off the table. Antarctica in general is a weird place. Yet they have the blue ice. Um... Why would they have those the Hollywood stars of fame? That's interesting. I wonder about that. Um, but so they have the blue ice, they have weird things. Um, I can bring up Miami in this. I will bring up Miami. Remind me about the Miami Mall aliens. <laughs> it ties in with Antarctica. Okay, so and 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 uh, Admiral Bird flew Admiral Bird. Sorry, Admiral Bird flew over a essentially a rainforest in Antarctica. Antarctica is not as cold as you think. There's actually videos, live feeds that go on, and it's not as cold as you think. Um, not remind me of the Miami aliens yet. Just give me a minute. And Antarctica in general is weird because we all own it. Everybody owns it. The 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 nobody actually owns it. They all have a part. They all have a claim. Right. And, and so, anyways, but there is a big significant portion of Antarctica that you cannot visit. There's places where you can go on like penguin tours, shit like that, whatever. Um, and then there's there's portions of Antarctica that like nobody can go to. And that's very interesting. They so they're trying to say that things are hidden there, whatever. Um, well, the firmament goes with the flat earth theory. By the way, I will tell you something on Antarctica where people got things confused. They want to talk about in the Encyclopedia Britannica. It wasn't. It was the Encyc Americana Britannica, whatever. And they were talking about the firmament. The thing is, it, uh, the domes. They were talking about domes. And they're like, oh, well, there must be the firmament. There must be domes down in Antarctica. Domes are just simply hills in scientific, in scientific, um, I, I do think we're probably sim in a simulation, personally. This, things are glitchy, especially with after the whole CERN modular I thing. That, I believe it has to do with the multiverse. Well, yeah, mul yeah. definitely multiverse. I, I have a whole definitely multiverse. theory based on... The aliens theory. made the pyramids. Don't get him started on that. But, okay, so to go back for a second, we're still talking about Antarctica being weird. Antarctica is very weird. There's parts you cannot go to. So... And a very weird thing. So people were talking about the Miami aliens. Okay. If you don't know, 
on this page a billion back before Gypsy, when the back when this account was based on crazy shit. That's what this account was for, was crazy shit. And during that time, there was the Miami aliens, okay? So here's the deal. Number one, they weren't aliens. Just so you know, the Miami alien thing was not aliens. By the way, this has been hap- this has been happening in Peru for months beforehand. But we don't hear about Peru. Nobody gives a fuck about Peru, apparently, because we don't fucking hear about it. Um, it was, and I found clips in Peru that had stated the exact same things that happened in the Miami incident. And I'm going to tie Miami to Antarctica in just a second with somebody's theory. So what happened basically at this mall is everything was fine. Everything was normal. And then all of a sudden people were freaking out. And there was eight to seven to 10 foot dark beings partially see-through that were not scared of people. were not even being um, aggressive. They were not being aggressive. They were not scared of people. They they looked confused. They looked confused. And um, what was weird, what the biggest part of it was, if you look at videos from, and I, and I have them way down there, every single cop car in that area was brought there for four kids fighting with sticks. That was the official story, four kids fighting with sticks. And there was 60 or more police vehicles there. Now, in the meantime, while this is going on, they released the fucking Black Ops helicopters and they were flying over the fucking mall for four kids with sticks, right? Okay, cool. So then the people are like, well, why, why isn't there video? Why isn't there video? Why isn't there video? I'm going to tell you two reasons why there wasn't a video. Number one, there was a power failure that hit 60,000 people or some crazy shit like that. It was a big number. I may be wrong on it, but it had hit a significant portion of the area when this happened. And so there was a huge power failure for starters. And two, they, for people that were there, they were confiscating phones. They were confiscating and looking through people's phones, making sure that things didn't go out. There is a supposedly a clip that I have down on my feed of a supposed one of them supposedly walking outside. Um, and the theory that I have and a theory that a lot of people have, those were not aliens. They were probably interdimensional di- uh, beings, and one of the, the one of the crazier yet not crazier theories, depending on how you look at it, could be crazy or could be not crazy, okay. is the fact that if you take now this is wild, and I don't know why anybody had to be a flat Earth person, had to be a flat Earth, earth person. I'll tell you why. If you take the GPS coordinates of this Miami Mall and you reverse them. Dead ass reverse them. It lands you in the middle of the part of Antarctica you cannot go to. So the theory in that is that there was it was multi-dimensional beings that thought they were go- they got lost. They got lost. Their GPS fucked up. An ancient civilization with enough technology to have interdimensional travel. Dialed the number backwards. Maybe they were dyslexic. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Anyway, yeah. so that was that was one theory that went out there. Um, yeah, the GPS. I, I can just see that man. Dave got fired that day. He put that shit in backwards. Damn it, fi- Carl. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That, that's what everybody was saying. They're like, that, that was a big thing in there. It was just damn it, Carl. Basically, um, they put him in backwards, and they landed in the middle of a motherfucking mall. Now it would you'd go. That's so ludicrous. But if you think about it, that is the dumbest place they could have possibly ended up. That sounds like an a- literal absolute fuck up. Like a literal like it wasn't in the middle of like it was in a mall. Like it was a mall. Okay. And so like part of me thinks yeah it could have been. But what it boils down to is that I mean there's definitely a, a multiverse theory going on. I have a particular theory. Um, I guess I'll find out eventually, hopefully not anytime soon, but I have a theory that, have you ever had a near-death experience? Like a near-death experience? You ever almost been hit by a car? You coded on a table? Most of us in here can pretty much agree. I thought I was going to die the other day. I, I, I decided to turn around on a curve. Damn near got T-boned, right? So at, most of us have had some type of thing, right? So 
my theory that I've had for a long time is in that universe, you did die. There was no near death. And then you hop over to whatever, wherever you're at right now. And it was, oh man, I almost, I almost, I almost. And I wonder if, because, you know, essentially energy okay. can't be destroyed. Uh, I this one by you. Hold on. I'm, hold this on. has to do with two of the things you were just talking about. Energy can't be destroyed, and so I think it goes on forever. What? The Mandela effect. Okay. And what you just said. Right. That's why, that's why we're fucked up. That. That's why we're fucked up. Have you ever watched the movie The One? No. With Jet Li and Jason Statham. Definitely not. You need to watch it. I'm good. It's a it's the it's a multiverse theory. Okay. And, um basically Jet Li's character is going around going from multiverse to multiverse, killing himself. Oh, I seen that one. Because each time he kills himself, the energies from the one he killed separates between all of them. Yeah, I did see that one. Along okay. with their memories yeah, and their I think abilities. I and I think that's what's happening to people. And they're thinking they have memories from an alternate life. And I wasn't ever really here. No, you're having memories from one of your multiverse people who passed away. That's possible. But there's definitely, I definitely think the time just changed. It's three instead of two. Yep. I did it. It jumped forward on any, anybody's clock that it jumps forward. It is now three. You're right. Yeah, um, I already did. Right. I already jumped. It already says three oh six. You need Andrew for president. We need you need to get that bread going. By the way. Oh no, you guys haven't heard my platform yet. Um. So. Um. Just reading. So yeah. So I think a lot of times. I I I guess I'll find out when it happens and when it's my turn. But I just wonder if. If that's how it goes, like you have that near death and then you wake up in the next multiverse, then you're like, oh, yeah, you know, that was a near death, whatever. Uh, me for president. Nice. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's very interesting to think about. And then I think that's why the Mandela effect catches up, because once we've all skipped and hopped and skipped and hopped and skipped and hopped, we all end up in mismatch fucking realities and the. The next thing you know, the Pikachu's tail is black. Pikachu's tail no isn't way. black. An update is coming. An update is coming? What yeah. Do you, what do you mean? Eventually, the multiverse will write itself. That's frightening. And memories will slip and we'll be back to living life normally. Yeah. The update is coming because we're starting to notice this shit. Uh -huh. Therefore, it's happening too much. Right. And the multiverse mm -hmm. will write itself. Yeah, that's definitely. You know, a lot of people... It's it's wild, uh, you know, when you suck at me. Yeah. Okay, f Crystal. Okay, so I have been up and down. There is a whole ass video, whole ass fucking video that shows that it absolutely happened. And the fact is, you know, is this, this particular Mandela effect, is it Mandela or is it government gaslighting? Because that's where I'm going with it at this point. It's government gaslighting. Um, I think that if they can put out enough to make us doubt what the hell is going on, then we'll believe anything. If they take something so stupid that so many of us remember, and I can remember it with every fiber in my being. I remember, I remember being eight years old and seeing it was it was everywhere when I was eight years old. Everywhere when I was eight years old. Okay. And then they're they're going out and they 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 are they are trying too hard to deny it because they went as so far to deny it that they released all their patents since the inception of their company went on record in multiple, multiple places saying it had never happened. This is what's always happened. We don't know what anybody's talking about. I don't think that one's a Mandela effect. I think that one is, is, is universal gaslighting. Because if we, can, if we can literally start to completely doubt our own reality, what the fuck can they do to us? There's ones that I know are Mandela. 
There's ones that, that you know, there's Mandela effects. Berenstein, Berenstein, that's a Mandela effect. Uh, I think that's probably multiple effects. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mandela, I, I believe that Mandela effect truly is multidimensional, is the point. I, th I think that that's exactly I what it is. I think a world ended and all of a sudden we're just over full of people from another universe. No, I don't think that. That's why not everybody does that. Right. That's why not everybody sees it. Not everybody right. experiences it. There's Mandala effect, which is simple, easy bullshit, whatever. You know, Berenstein, Berenstein, Monocle, no Monocle, Kit Kat with a thing, whatever. I am telling you, with this particular one, it is. I'm telling you, I am telling you with everything in me. I don't care what, how crazy you think I am. I've seen too much shit on it, and I used to think it was a Mandela effect. It is a, it is government gaslighting. I'm telling you this. No company goes on record in multiple places saying that we're all crazy. No company releases every logo since inception for a hundred plus years trying to tell us that we don't know what the hell we've seen. And then lo and fucking behold, some pack rat and bumfuck wherever, a couple people in bumfuck wherever, people who like to hoard shit, I'm shocked I don't have one, to be honest. I never get rid of clothes. What, the fruit of the loom? The fruit of the loom. I am telling you that is, that is government gaslighting. That is I not. What a, exactly. What a loom was. Do you know how many people have said I would not know what a cornucopia was without that shirt? Yeah, that's where I learned that what a cornucopia is was. Is fucking it is government gaslighting. You are never going to change my mind on that. You can tell me about Mandela effect all down left, right, sideways. Okay, I believe in Mandela effect. I believe in multiverse theory. That is fine. What is happening with Fruit of the Loom? And this sounds crazy, and it sounds stupid, and it sounds like why do you care? I'm going to tell you why I care. I, because I if if you can get us to believe something that we know is wrong, what the fuck can you do to us? If you actually convince people that never happened, that never happened. What do you mean that? Look at all the proof. This never happened. You're stupid. What can they fill our fucking heads with? I'm telling you, I'm telling you that I was there. I know I was there and I know. Hold on. I think this is the person talking about it. Yes. Okay. There is a whole ass video on here. I haven't liked somewhere. They did a whole this. And so let me tell you, let me tell you how, how wild this gets. And this is what made me change my mind into government gaslighting. So this girl goes out to expose fruit of the loom. Okay. She goes out to expose them. All of a, a sudden, all of her content gets hit with community guidelines, cannot appeal. Then the company tried to sue her. So she went after them for their fucking uh, BPAs and their clothes. She fought fire with fire. They sued her. They got social media to wipe every piece of existence that she had put out there. I did not know about this. I had no idea. I just found out about this a couple fucking weeks ago, which is what changed my mind. That one is not a Mandela effect. That is government gaslighting. And they chose to gaslight over a fucking cornucopia. Funnily enough, by the way, I, does anybody get the significance of the fact that the government decided to gaslight over a cornucopia? Does anybody know where I'm going to go with this? Because this is just downloaded into my head. Does anybody understand the significance of us fighting over a motherfucking cornucopia? Just saying. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Anybody Anybody want to go there? Anybody want to go with a fucking cornucopia? Yeah, obviously a distraction. Obviously a distraction. Handmaid's Tale. Okay. Cornucopias, right? When do you see a cornucopia? I'm just, I'm just laying down some shit. We are in the United States of America. We are arguing about a cornucopia. When are cornucopias found? Thanksgiving. What happened in Thanksgiving? Get what I'm laying down. Get what I'm laying down. The thing that we've that we've all celebrated forever and ever and ever, but then we find out after history and research that there was no nice little breaking bread and dinner. There was a fucking slaughter. 
And it's funny to me that we are all arguing over a cornucopia when we are just now seeing the truth of what it is, that Thanksgiving is bullshit. I think it's funny that we are arguing over a cornucopia. There was no cornucopia. There was no cornucopia. There was, there was no, everybody sat down to dinner. It was all good. Anybody think about that? Go spread that fucking theory. I'm going to put a video of that up when I get done here. So everybody can think I'm a complete nut barn. Complete psychological warfare, psychological warfare with the fucking cornucopia. Way to ruin Thanksgiving for me. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Thanksgiving is about government to me. It is brain. That's what I'm saying. Government, government gaslighting, mass brainwashing, whatever term you want to use. Whatever term you want to use. If they can do that, what else will they do? That is that is my worry. Yeah, so MK Ultra. So the, for the longest time, Project Blue Beam and MK Ultra were considered conspiracy theories, and that is why I'm a proud conspiracy theorist, by the way, because every fucking time that it never happened, it don't exist. There's papers that were released that show Project Blue Beam. There are papers that have been released from the government with MK Ultra. They are there. It is real. They are both real. They are both there. And for years, people said that they didn't exist. They didn't exist. Turkey makes us sleepy. We're going to go down a whole goddamn fucking Thanksgiving thing at this point. Um, back rooms are a fuck back rooms. Fuck back rooms. That's the shit of nightmares. That is a shit of Dude, fucking nightmares. I love the back room shit. That is shit of fucking nightmares. You're hungry now? Good job. Um, so yeah, so oh, uh, Google ba- duh, just go on TikTok and put back room. No, go on YouTube, 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 because they got the videos. Watch the videos for the back rooms. <laughs> that shit will fuck you up. I love it. I hate, and I hate scary shit. Mm-mm, I'm good. Back, but they're supposed to. Back rooms are uncanny valley. That's the problem. Back rooms are uncanny valley. When you watch them, but un- uh, uncanny uncanny valley is an effect. People talk about it as a as a as a noun. It's a verb. It's something that you look at that is meant to make you uncomfortable. It's meant to make you uncomfortable. Back rooms are uncanny valley. Um, you've been you've been screening stuff so you can look it up later. Nice. Back rooms are calming for you. Are you going to get scared or something? I don't know. You may. Um, back rooms you know, are... It, it, it's very unnerving. It's it's not scary. It, it It's uncanny valley. There's no way to put it. You Unless are uncomfortable. You're in the dark. You are uncomfortable. I don't know what it is about backroom videos that they make you uncomfortable. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're not... But... They make you uncomfortable in your own psyche, in your own brain. Obviously, you haven't seen the one with the shadow creature that's chasing the kid. I don't think we're talking about the same back rooms. I don't think we're talking about that. What are they based on? Uh, it's kind of based on the Sim Theory, ain't it? Isn't it kind of based on the Sim Theory, would you yeah, say? we're not talking about the same thing. Look, what are you talking about? The halls? Yeah. Where they're walking through the halls and shit? Uh, yeah. It's like a giant maze. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a shadow creature that lives in there. Oh, I never heard that theory. No. The, the, you haven't watched the videos. Okay. Well, I. Yeah. Like the first video. No, he's not kid, talking about skinwalkers. Where, where the kid accidentally drops the camera and he falls in with it and he's trying to get out of these hallways and there's something fucking chasing him. Okay. Those aren't the same backroom videos I've seen. Dude. All right, now we're going to look it up. There's only, there's only six people in here. We're going to look it up. Dude. I'll look it up. Hold on. No, I got it. I got it. Hold on. YouTube. What would I look to get that particular one, though? There, there's a channel. Just there's a one. channel? Just, let me find it. You want to find a channel? It's a video game on PC. No. People make them on PC. Oh, wow. 
Oh, hey, so I just I just relogged YouTube. Ryan Lee live uh, March 1st, exposing the Good Wives Network. Yeah, that's not. Hold on, watch. Yeah, that's not. The, that's not. Just watch. This this is just the beginning. Watch. All right, cut. Cut. That was good. That was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. All right? Yeah, cool. Like, how much further? Like, uh, a, little more. a little more. I want to know what yeah. this is. Yeah. yeah. That's not me. Look, he fell in. Okay. And hi, Ryan Tilson. <laughs> Uh, okay, so on. just just look look these guys up and watch them later. Okay, well, can I show them, please? Hey guys. So the ones I'm talking, the ones that I was talking about are animated, animated uh, back rooms. This is a different no, one. No, this is what started them. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there's yeah, okay. And it's a uh, found footage. Oh, okay. And a lot. Everybody on here saying this. Um, I've seen the the the, the animated ones. I don't like them. The so story. I'm looking at myself right now. I'm on YouTube and I'm looking at myself, and it's not me. It's from seven days ago. This is not me, but they're uploading all of my lives. They're uploading something. This is three hours long. Somebody uploaded. The fuck? This is called, it's, it's exposing the Good Wives Network. And it's got 123 subscribers. And they are apparently, here's another one of me. From 14 hours ago. Yeah, it's not me though. It's not me. But this is apparently the full thing of when I talked of some this is this is apparently where they got the Frito one because I can see the shirt. I, I can see what I'm wearing. Um but I'm wondering if If this has the whole, if this is the live that I suppose, it says that I talked about the miscarriage or something. Hold on. Transcript, follow along, show the transcript. Ooh, transcript. Did not have it. Okay, cool. They actually do have a transcript. Perfect. Okay, here we are. Here's, here's a report that on youtube for content well i mean as long as they're not as long as they're not trashing me getting my shit out there i don't really care as long as they're not yeah, tra like you're stealing traffic to your page yeah it's all right like, I, have, I have more subscribers your shit over i have over more over. subscribers than they have though it doesn't matter Look, but it says not, right here google's not going to your page you go to that page to see it um it says, I'm not laughing about a miscarriage. I'm laughing about the fact that you want somebody to believe that that happened. As somebody that I know I've seen gone to drama queens my whole life, I seem to attract them. Um, nobody says that they have a miscarriage at the drop of a hat. I'm going to call that shit out. I'm going to call that shit out full chest because if you're breaking up, you don't, what you don't do is immediately start screaming that you're having a miscarriage. And it's not scientifically possible. I said it and I said it now. Nobody in the history of ever Somebody put this one up there. The one that everybody keeps talking about that I did. Somebody put it up. No, just no, it wasn't. This is this was helping. This was helping. I'm fine with yeah. it. Because I don't have it. So it's nice that they put it up. Because I didn't have it. I mean, I have it in my life. Does that make sense? 
But this has a transcript, so I can actually read what the find out where it is. It is exposing the good wife. I don't I'm fine with that. I don't care. You guys can go look at what I don't These are older lives. This was done a little bit. On. Because this is the part where where I kept getting called out, but I this was a second one. The dogs in the video, babe. Yeah, here I am going out to grab my shotgun. <laughs> well, that's good now. I'm glad that's there. What's this one? This is from 14 hours. Well, this one, whatever this one is, it says Ryan goes live immediately after Natasha's Twitch, Twitch stream about her. Sounds like uh, you went live at your normal time. Oh, I did because we tend, we tend to go live at the same time. Yeah, and she ended her live just before you went on uh -huh. and tried claiming it. So you usually go on at the same time pretty much every hour. I've been going hour. live at about the same time as that for a year. Oh, I don't. I, this particular girl is the one that I said that I'm not. I don't even bother talking about her. I just say you don't. You don't have to listen to me. Just go watch her 785 call well, up videos heard five on YouTube. Of you talking about her. That was that one. That's I my stopped. point, though. Okay. Yeah, I got that, and then after that, I stopped. 
tonight I literally, she was going on live bashing me, I guess. Apparently, that's what they were telling me. And I was just like, oh. Huh? Back to your actual oh. live screen. There's nobody there. There's six people there. They ain't paying attention. Yeah. Um, but they take your lives off of TikTok and re-upload clips, most of them. I watched the one of FAFO. That was horrible. What do you mean? She talked so bad. It was a subscriber only, so couldn't chat. Oh, I don't care. You know, that I don't care. Her her record precedes her. I don't have to worry about it. Her record precedes her. She's not. I'm I would much rather spend my time outing April. <laughs> it's so easy. Um Natasha, for whatever reason, is attached to me for whatever reason. I have no idea. And what happened? Um, can you answer the, wait, what? Can you answer the reenactment? You didn't ask me a question. Hold on. Can you answer the reenactment of, can I answer it? What do you mean, can I answer it? Did I see Natasha's post about me? Which one? <laughs> Is there a new one? She's no. relevant. No. <laughs> I have her blocked. <laughs> no, I have her blocked. I can't see any of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the people that I blocked. I'm like, ah, I'm not dealing with your shit. I'm good. Is it a new one? I know she had the one up. Whatever. That's one I just can't figure out. Like, it would make sense if, like, I, like, pissed somebody off or whatever. Yeah, I heard she was having a live about me, and I, I cared so much I went live on my own. <laughs> Oh, it was about the one I called her fat. Because I said she had something about her fat face. Which it just meant in general. Like calling somebody like, I don't know, a stupid head. I have no idea. That's okay. She has a video up of me that Maybe says she something. Maybe she shouldn't sling mud if she can't. Right. She can't absolutely. That, and that's the kicker. That's where it went. Because I had been sitting here telling everybody that, you know, she'd been nice to me. She'd been being nice to me, and then all of a sudden, there's a live, and she's slinging shit in my direction. Hi. Hey, where were you earlier when I was reading this shit? I needed you in here earlier. There was there was a part, well, in the, uh, the earlier live. Um, yeah, she said that she made me, that I got all my views from her. And I'm like, girl, you're on an account with 5,200 people, which is half of my small account. My lives get more like I, I trust me. I'm not running your coattails. Like I've done, I've done what I've done on my own. Perfectly fine. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, Salem, I wish you were in here yesterday or earlier today or whatever. Um, I was reading the part where she was talking about how, or April was on there talking about how, um, she had never blocked anybody that live, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I wish she was in there. My tattoo is pissed off, dude. It is so mad. My shirt was rubbing on it all shift. And it is pissed the fuck off. She hasn't been on TikTok long. Only after she was banned from YouTube. Yeah, I heard that. You gotta fuck up to get banned from YouTube, though. Like, isn't YouTube kind of like the wild rest of places? Babe? You know more about that than I do. I mean, YouTube, you can do whatever the fuck you want, can't you? Yeah, I got a couple of them. Almost. You can pretty much do whatever. I know I April got banned the other day, so I mean you can get banned. Yeah, her IP is banned. Like they whole ass banned yeah, her. You gotta be careful with certain things. They're very big on copyright and stuff. Hey, like knock that. it off. Defamation. Right. They're very big on that kind of shit. Yeah. But swearing. Yeah. Oh, what I what I was Fuck thinking it. of, uh, just it was just weird to me. Stop! I'm, trying, I'm trying to push the. Oh look, he yells at our dogs too. Who know? Oh God, we're just a horrible household, I guess. Um, I'm trying to push the fucking gel down. Um, yeah, I didn't know she was gonna start crying. That was a little weird. Yeah, I know what you want. 
I know what you are. Well, right, and that's that's kind of why I don't. That's kind of why I don't want to give her any extra attention, Karmic, because I feel like she is doing it to get more followers. I feel like that is. I feel like that is it. But see, I I have her blocked. I have her blocked. So, did I see your post? No. I have her blocked. I'm not gonna. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, with, you, with YouTube, you can't make another account. I I, I found that out. Yeah. Yeah, you can. No, you, you if you just, you just no have if you have to have another email. Well, no, it's not that. If you get IP banned, which is what she IP is. IP banned. Yeah, she yeah. got an IP ban. But you can make more. Yeah, no, you can. More. Shit, I got like five. No, she's IP banned. She can't make one from her house. Yeah, no, she has to go to like McDonald's. Yeah, or yeah, she she's IP banned. Um, yeah, I got like five fucking YouTubes. I have one for my lost videos, one for a Mariana's trench concert, one for my lyric videos, and this one. Oh, and I I even had where I was logged into one from back when Ember was pregnant. I have like five fucking YouTubes. I don't use YouTube, but I use it. I used to use it back in like 2011 when I made my videos. Um, you said her name. Who cares? I just whatever. You were the one who just brought up. Oh, <laughs> like a fly on shit. I don't know. Um, yeah, I never got banned. Yeah, I never got. I yeah, that's um, I just did other stuff. I didn't get banned off there. No. Um, you're kind of new to TikTok and YouTube. I don't really understand YouTube to be honest, but I like it because it records my lives. Um. On YouTube, he loves YouTube. Probably about twenty hours a day. I don't, I don't like it personally. Um, wait, what? Yeah, she was getting okay. I couldn't stop fake love. Uh, yeah, she was getting donations for a vacation, PayPal, or other cash app just to trash. But me? She was getting donations to trash me. Is that what you just said? I'm not sure if that's what you said, but that's 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 what it looks like you said. She's had GoFundMe's for pretty much everything on the planet. Her, her GoFundMe's are wild. She pushes her Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. That's what somebody just said. And Patreon. You play Birds for your cat. It plays 24-7 YouTube. Nice. New couch fund. She's going to need a new couch. She needs to go fund a job. Probably. But see, Angelica, though, that's what irritated me about it. Like, you're going to get down on me for having a job. Whatever the job is. Whatever the job is. I don't care what the job is. And then you're going to sit on YouTube or wherever all day. TikTok, wherever, Twitch. And ask for money for everything under the sun. But that's why she's got 80, 785 call-out videos on YouTube. There's a damn difference. You go through a hard time. You go through a hard time. And you and you need help. Okay? I get that. I get that. But you can't do it for everything. She has one literally called Kool-Aid Fund. I'm not even kidding. She's jealous she couldn't get her fame off of Gypsy and be able to have people like her enough to just give her money. Probably. I just don't understand what the point is of, get, of being pissed at me, though. I didn't do anything. That's what don't make. That's what don't make sense to me is I didn't fucking do nothing. I've passed. I've pissed up. A, pissed off enough people with reason. Mm. Like I give people reasons to not like me, and this was just this came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> I was confused. I was confused. I'm like what? Somebody came in and said she was talking about me. I'm like, no, she ain't. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm like, no, she ain't. Um. I won the I mean, popularity contest, that's all. Why would she? You never gave her a reason to. Huh? Why would she? You never gave her a reason to, so that's not being stupid. That's like that. I literally, like, I had been being talking nice about her. That's the weird thing. Because everybody was talking to me what a garbage human being she is. And I'm like, well, and all I would say every single time, you can download my lives. Look at them on fucking here. People are barely uploading them. I'd always say, well, she was nice to me. Well, she was nice to me. That's all I would ever say. Well, she was nice to me. I can't say nothing. And now she's not nice to me, so she can go fuck herself. <laughs> you know? If her arms will reach that far. Oh, by the way, by the way, 
Yeah, she decided to comment on my sex life on her live last night. That was wild to me. That was wild to me. Like, of all the things you want to go and do, you want to talk about something that you have absolutely no idea, could have no idea. We are perfectly fine in the bedroom area. Thank you very much. Yeah, she decided to talk about what, like, literal details. That was the How weirdest thing. She know I know, right? About our sex life in the bedroom. I know, right? I was like, the fuck? My friend, she messes with me out of fucking nowhere. I'm at my friend's house, okay? It's like 9, 10. It's like, now it's like 10, 11 o'clock, right? And I get a message. She's like, what does this mean? I didn't know. I had to look it up. I was like, what the fuck? I don't fucking what? know. It was a weird thing. You guys might know what the fuck it means. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I had to look it up. I'm old, I guess. I don't fucking know. That or, that or, that or, she knows that, she knows it because she's been called it. I don't fucking know. Oh, you didn't hear me? She, pillow princess. I had to look, I had to look it up. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it meant. And I'm like, that's oddly specific. I'm like, that is oddly specific. Again, how she thinks she would know anything that goes on in our... Oh, our you're, okay, so you're saying, okay, so it was not me. Okay, that's what they called her. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I have to, I have to fix that when I go on a live tomorrow. I have to fix that when I go on a live tomorrow. Somebody told me that they were talking about me. Yeah, she was gay for the stay. Yeah, she was gay for the stay. So that would make sense. Pillow process would make sense for being gay for the stay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Why are you not blocked? <laughs> I must have missed one. Um, that's what she called herself in her book. There's so many people saying different things right now. Oh, on the other one? Don't worry, you'll be blocked on this one too if you open your mouth again. <laughs> yeah, they were, uh, I think, I think, which one, which one did I block? Just so I know. Hold on. Oh, you can't really keep up? I figured as much. Let me guess. You're also behind the, the what, 12 accounts that are attached to Resident Midnight? Are, are you my biggest fan on Reddit? You know, res, res, what is it? Resident Midnight and, and Crime Talk News Parody and Ryan's Oxalotl and that one. Fancy Pants, uh, Free Craig. There, there There's what? I don't know, 9, 10, 11 of them. Something like that. Yeah. You were helping you were helping me out. How were you helping me out? Just so I know. Yeah. I clearly had my facts wrong. Really? Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you big sure? Which one are you? Remember when I ask questions, I already have answers. But yeah, go ahead. Which which one are you claiming to be? Which one are you claiming to be on Reddit? Obviously, I don't know your username because you're too much. You're too much of a sissy to tell me. So. You could at least tell me what your Reddit name is, and I can tell you who you are. <laughs> Resident Midnight admitted to numerous accounts. Numerous accounts. More accounts than they admitted to. How do I say this? They admitted publicly to three. They admitted privately to way more than three. So. 
Is that Bronxy? I think it's Bronxy. Oh, you're not resident? Not sure okay. Either. Well, then you would know what I'm talking about. Well, you're not even going to tell me who I have in my presence? No, that's why they came in on that throw. Oh, I know. That's, that's, that's the, 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 I cannot understand how people are so scared to actually let people know who they are. That's wild to me. I've never been that person. Call you your messiah. I, I doubt that, honey. No, I'm a messiah. You, you got to get some shit straight here. I will never, I'm I will never exactly. understand being so scared on social media that you have to hide. I will never understand that concept. I am who I am. I say who I am. I put my face on what I am and I don't give a fuck. I can't imagine being that fucking scared that I have to sit there and come in and troll and I couldn't even troll my actual face. Like that I'm that big of a fucking sissy. I couldn't even imagine that, dude. That is wild. And then those are the same people, though. What, what makes me laugh, oh, though, go is figure. it's the same people. We went from talking conspiracy theories and having a good time. Oh, no, I'm good. you bring someone up, here they come. Um. Anyways, to finish my That's sentence, and then we're going to that. Well, I'm going to finish my sentence. We're going. You did good because you just got me sidetracked. Good. Nice. Not my brain's going to hurt. Not my brain's going to hurt. What about that hollow earth theory? I'm not talking about anything with you in the room because you get on my nerves. Why? Because you get on my nerves. Hey, look, I let you speak about that flat earth bullshit. I do. And I, I didn't put on my headphones. I didn't say I anything. I literally said four sentences and said, okay, put that to the side. Let's talk about Antarctica. Because <laughs> I'm over here whispering, I should put on my headphones. I should put on my headphones. I should put on my headphones. And that's why I'm not going to talk about anything while you're in the room because you're fucking annoying. about Antarctica and ice walls and I'm like... <laughs> well, the catacombs is just the catacombs. The catacombs is in Paris and I want to go. Has anyone ever fell off the edge that. of the earth? Has anybody ever fallen off the edge of the earth? Look, okay, so here's the deal. I can be super gullible. Okay? We all know this. Okay? But I will tell you, and I don't know if it's just because it's... Uh, I will tell you this, though. The what people say and show, if you forget the science of it, as my husband likes to say, if you forget the science of it, it can be believable. The things make sense. If you completely disregard science. As we know it, yes. My problem is with science is one thing. This is my only problem with science, and this is the only reason why it peaks up in my head sometimes. Look, in the whatever, whatever, we thought the earth was flat. Then, who was it Who was it that fucking got killed for saying the earth was round, by the way? Who was that? Magellan. No, Magellan circumvented, circumnavigated the road. It was like Plato or Socrates or some Socrates, shit. No. Get, well, get, one of them got killed for saying the earth yeah, was round. Killed okay? by the church. They got killed by saying the fucking earth was round. Okay. So then it went round. And then it went flat again. And then it went round again. And I'm only wondering if another hundred years is going to be flat again. It went flat again because people started ignoring it. Okay, but the, the problem is... Shit. The problem, like I said, the problem is, is if you if you don't critically think about science, the shit they say makes sense. It makes sense. My husband had to explain to me the center of gravity from a perception viewpoint because my my okay, so it's weird. So like, I ha I'm a very literal person. Unfortunately, I'm a very literal person. So like, he had to explain something to me because it did. Like, I'm so literal that I don't make sense sometimes. If that makes sense, like I'm so literal. That like I will say so, and it will be it's dumb. Like some of the things I say can be dumb. Um, and I couldn't, I just couldn't figure out a few things. And he so he's trying, he's trying to he's trying to explain to me perception. He's like, but your perception's off. And I'm like, what do you mean my perception's off? He's like, your perception's off. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. So of course I'm a visual person, so I go looking. I'm like, all right, look, he's just talking to me, that ain't making no sense. So I went and looked and I found a picture. And I was like, is this what you mean? He's like, yes. I'm like, you could have just said that. He's like, I did. I did. <laughs> He's like, I did. Multiple times. <laughs> I needed the picture. 
I needed the picture. And, and then it made sense. But that being said, while that makes sense to me now, it still makes sense in, in the back part of my brain what they say. And so it's hard because, it, it's, look, if they hadn't done the whole Middle Ages thing, if they hadn't done the whole it's flat, it's round, it's flat, it's round, it's flat, it's round thing, I would be a lot more on the boat of just being like, yeah, you guys are idiots. But the problem is every X amount well, of... All I can see right now is me picking up a high school geography book and whapping you over the head with it over and over and over again trying to get to learn it. <laughs> every so many hundreds of years or whatever, they decide to go back on their shit. Good night, darling. Every That's my problem. That's my problem. Is every X amount of time they're like all of a sudden Sorry, they decide did I something say different? Geometry? Or did I say geology? It's geography. Geography is what I was meaning to say. I think you did say geography, so good job. Oh, I think I said geology. But um yeah, so me uh, me and my husband agree on a lot of shit. And then there's things that like we are definitely not agreeing on. We definitely have, like, it's weird, because, like, we'll believe a lot like of the same shit. The meaning of logic. No. Yeah. Anyway. um, And there's then there's some things that, like, we just will not agree on. But you know what? We're grown-ass adults. No. The minute somebody doesn't agree with you, you act like a fucking five-year-old. And we know, hey, they're going to think that regardless. Agree to disagree. No, you try to badger people with your Otherwise, opinion. Otherwise... We'd be having this conversation day in and day out. Yeah, but you still badger people to your opinion. Yeah, because I have the science and the mathematics and everything to back it up. You also have an ego and you're arrogant, so there you go. Like I said, I am your Messiah. Um, well, I, <laughs> Cor, if I had time to watch anything, I would. And it sounds like a really good documentary. Don't get me wrong. If I had, if I had time in the day to fucking do it i would but i right now there's so many shows that i need to catch up on that i still haven't caught up on and it's frustrating have you seen the theory about disaster news plants what i feel like you're trying to say three things at once about disaster news plants disaster news plants disaster news plants like the, I feel like I feel like there's punctuation that needs to be there that isn't there. I think they're talking about like plants. This person's a plant. Oh no, like you're saying disaster planes. news is fake. It's a plant. No, I don't know. <coughs> oh, crisis actors. You're talking about crisis actors. Alex Jones got sued. His his he got his ass sued bad. Um, for talking about crisis actors, like he like lost everything, like they took everything from that man, but he did it in a way they, okay. So there's people who talk about crisis actors and I've seen shit on crisis actors. Okay. I've seen it, but to go on and be so adamant about things that are so traumatizing to people, um, yes, crisis actors, um, there's one thing to to conspiracize or talk about or or theorize on shit, and there's another that um, they tried to take his cat. Did you just say they tried to take his cat? Oh, that's awful. Um, but I mean, have I seen stuff that makes it look like there has been crisis actors on occasion? You do know now. Now, crisis acting that is a thing in the government. They do have. There is uh, fucking plans. Uh, what what do they call them? Red, white flag, red flag. What is it? I think it's. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Red flag events. I think so. Well, anyway, somebody else, somebody will fucking tell me. Um, where they talk about the fact that they're going to do something to basically incite some type of whatever. Oh, the cat was rare and worth money. Gotcha. Okay, but it's still a cat. It's still a pet, and that's awful. But um, there's, you know, uh, God, I wish I could think of the exact terms. This is so frustrating. So frustrating. Knock it off. You went outside. You came back in. You're done. Hey, but I'm done. No, we're not hoofing. 
Oh, great. Now we have a hoofer and a whiner. I already did. I, I let them out. I let them back in. They're done. You've been eating cat shit. <laughs> You've been eating cat shit. I can smell it on your damn breath. Quit huffing my way. Quit breathing my way. It stinks. No, it doesn't have the zoomies. It's it's he, she's stomping. Is what's happening. It's Nikki, our old older big dog. She's something. She's stupid. Go away, Ed. She's stupid dog is she's she's got about three brain cells. Sometimes they rub together, and sometimes they misfire. Kitty litter treats. Yep. No, we're not doing this. No. No. She likes them because they crunch. <laughs> Nikki. It's like a nerd's rope. <laughs> Nikki, go away. I am not going to. No. She's about to. I'm just getting on my damn. You're about to get wrapped. No. Hey. <laughs> we just decided to throw my Rose. 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 Come on. Ridiculous. Not under my desk, dum dum. Go. Yeah. She got she got she was confused. She didn't know whether she should come in or twice. Oh my god, your was it a dog or a cat been sprayed by a skunk twice? Oh my god. Throw the whole animal away. I don't know what to tell you. False flag. Thank you. False flag. Yeah. Thank you. False flag. They have false. There is. There's whole manuals on false flag events, which is where I think they get where they get going about crisis actors, because if there's false flag, somebody has to put out the false flag. So I think that's where they kind of started the whole thing with crisis actors. Is there crisis actors? I don't know. 9-11 was a false flag and our government did it. I do believe oh, it was inside no. job. I don't know about false flag, but I think I do believe the no. government did it. Our president may have used it as an excuse to go to war over oil, but it was an actual event. People actually died. Yeah, no, I get that. No, that. my problem and my problem is by terrorists, not our own government. Um, now I will say this. Obviously, we all seen planes flying to the fucking thing. Okay, I'm not saying that. My problem lies with what is it? The Pentagon? Pentagon and the what is it? The seventh one or something? I got problems with those. I got problems with those. Yeah, I don't think the the planes, I don't know. The planes flew into the fucking buildings. We all seen the fucking planes flying in the goddamn buildings. Yes. Okay, we've seen those. My problem is um what is it? Building seven? Building seven in the Pentagon. I got problems with those. Especially I have problems with the Pentagon because $3.8 billion went missing like three days earlier and then poof. Money like that's always going missing. I know, but it was a big deal at the time. So, I mean, I think. Yeah, because that's when the shit started coming out. You know, the the problem is, is there there's so many eyewitness events that so, something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. Something was weird. Planes definitely flew into a building. We all seen that. But, like, what else happened? Because, I mean, when, when it came down, it looked like it, it, it came down in a demolition format, which is weird to me. Because it wasn't, the structure wasn't built properly. Oh, yeah, I I've think our government was down. I, I, I've seen the engineers I tear down. Government does, we, government does uh, weird shit, definitely. I mean, Jesus, look at the whole laser thing that's going on recently. Right. No, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like, do, do I think that there's more to it than terrorists? Yes. Do I think there was terrorists? Yes. So it's, it's People hard. People are getting this mixed up, okay? Look. Terrorist attacked our country. Yes. Okay. Did we need to go to war with Iraq over this? 
No, no, that was no. just to get oil. We needed to go after the terrorists. Right, that was just to get oil. Not the country. But yeah, but that's not what we're talking so about. So the whole you know. war was based off, yeah. you know, this. Bullshit. They took an opportunity. Right, no, I agree on that. And used it. Yeah, I now, agree on that. what people are doing is to then take the fact that we took, uh, our government took an opportunity on something. And I see where you're going. Advocating that they made the opportunity to go out there. I see where you're going, but that's that's. I see where you're going, and I think that is a lot of the problem. I definitely think that is you're a lot of the problem. Seeing that the government took advantage of something that happened. I do see that. And claiming that the government made it happen so they could take advantage. Of no, I get that. I definitely see where you're going. My uh, and and that definitely makes a lot of sense. The particular portion I'm talking about, though, doesn't have anything to do with the war. Personally, me here. But it does. Uh, not for what I am thinking in my head. Thank you. <laughs> but I do get, and, that, and that's something I never even thought of, what he just said. I never even thought about that, to be honest. And I think that is a, a big portion of that. That, ne that, never, that never really occurred to me, that like because something happened from it, did they take an opportunity that they shouldn't have taken? Yes, definitely. No matter what, no matter which way that it occurred, we decided to go to war over something that we had no business going over war over. And I do, I do definitely believe that. Now that he's pointing so it out, people that are sense. seeing that that happened, right? And so now they're saying that the government staged that opportunity by. Dude, I get what you're saying. I get it. I get it. It makes a lot of sense. What you're saying makes a lot of sense. My problem is um, look up central casting. Those are crisis actors. Now, I will say this. The one weird thing that I have seen, because I don't know how I feel about the... Now, I know, I know false flag exists. Okay? There's manuals on that. Now, as for crisis actors, I got kind of a... I got to split view on crisis actors because, first of all, somebody's got to do If there was a false flag, somebody's got to fucking do it, right? Because they know what's going on. So that would be crisis actors. But now the, the, the thing is, is I've seen um, videos, pictures, whatnot, of people, uh, survivors of A, that end up on trauma B. Um, yeah, they're talking about the school. See, that's where Alex Jones got in a lot of trouble, though. He kept saying that Sandy Hook was staged. Sandy Hook was staged. And that ended up costing him a shit ton of money because he wanted to be so disrespectful to the parents and say this, that, and whatever. Um, now, you could go down the same route, okay? You could go down the same route of what we went down earlier. This is this is crazy. This is insane. And then come out, you know, 15 years down the way, that that's exactly what was fucking happening. Was Sandy Hook real? Well, I mean, people lost their kids, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware, they lost they lost people. And now let's go tell these grieving families right. that we think they're lying and they need to shut up and they need to tell the truth. It was off stage. You're a parried actor. Your kid never died. Right. That's some bullshit. But there is weird things that I have seen that I can't explain. And I've never seen somebody that's able to explain them. But, I mean, I've seen pictures of survivors from uh, trauma event, event A that look exactly like people at trauma event B. Now, you could be like, okay, well, you're looking for that. Or they're similar or whatever. But when it was happening over and over, the, and sometimes, sometimes it would be two people from trauma a and two people like you're not going to be in the same place twice buddy like you can't have all that shit happen to you all the time so i mean i don't know how i feel about that i really don't I've, i'm definitely on the fence with that i guess if i stop talking the dog will stop talking you know there, there's a lot of tragedies that have happened um, and I mean, do I think that they're all false flags? No, I think, I think there's a lot of crazy things that happen. Do I think there may have been a false flag here or there? Possibly. I mean, maybe nothing. I, I can't say with any 
Certainly there was or there wasn't. I mean, could there have been? Sure. I don't know. You're still thinking about the Mandela effect. Not going to lie. I think about it pretty often myself. There's a lot of crazy things out there. And it's weird because, like, if, if you start talking about something that's weird, and most people haven't been weird yet, then it's like, well, what the hell? And then five, ten years down the road, you go, well, yeah, I tried to tell you that five or ten years down the road, though. And you didn't want to hear about it then. Mandela effects do live right for you in my head. I think Mandela effects are so frustrating to people because we know what we see. We know what we've seen, we know what we experienced, and now you're telling us that we didn't. And, you know, there was a whole thing I watched. I sent it to my husband. I think he's going to get lost, though, because, unfortunately, he had to watch, like, a bunch of videos before it by the time I got to it. So, by the time I just sent him that video, it looks like a complete and utter weird conspiracy theory that came out of nowhere. But now I'm beginning to understand... Where the weird terms, came. like I didn't understand them before, but I definitely kind of understand them now. Like Pizzagate and shit. Like when I went on that fucking rabbit hole, I didn't know what it was. I'd always heard about it, didn't didn't fucking know about it, and uh, went down some fucking rabbit hole with that shit. I I was yeah, I don't know what it was. I thought they were. I don't know. I thought they were. I don't know. And it is weird that you know somebody just brought that up, and it's so many things. And this is true. This is true. So many things go back to P.O.'s. Epstein, the fact that the foster care system is jacked, the fact that Ohio lost 1,100 kids in like two months, kidnappings, Amber Alerts on the Rise. My husband just literally said that at the beginning of this live. It does seem strange that all these kids are going missing. Ohio's nuts. Ohio just was just Ohio was just like fuck it. We don't we don't have anybody. They can't find nobody in Ohio. It is wild. There's been a couple flights that that happened to, but I personally think that that particular flight was probably probably Bermuda Bermuda Triangle ism. Wait, hold on. This person's been going on and on about weird shit. Okay, so what? Okay, well, I, okay, I think I know where you're going with that. I think I know where you're going with that. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Yes, everything is about money. I get that. The whole, I mean, money makes the world go round. So I get that. Um, good night. I don't understand flat earth theory. That's the only theory I cannot believe. Yeah, my husband's a huge, huge, huge. He can't, he can't even, he can't even wrap his head around it. I can't be. He can't even wrap his head around it. I'm one of the people that like. I, it's not that I, I can't get behind it so much because of all the science and history and logic I have in my brain that I get aggravated just being around people talking about it. I just want to reach up and choke a motherfucker. That's how mm, I am about flat earth theories. Anyway, so I'm one of those people that because I don't, you know, to me, anything is fucking possible anywhere, anything. So, like, for me, I'm never like, no, like, there's always something like makes, uh, of any, of anything, something's like, it'll make a little bit of sense to me. But that doesn't mean that it makes all sense or total sense or whatever. I just go, okay, well, I understand that one concept. But, you know. Sometimes that happens. It's like somebody will send me something weird. I'm like, I understand that one concept, but no. Yeah, there, there's, there's, uh, what about deja vu? Deja vu happens for sure. I think everybody in here could say that they had fucking deja vu at some point, but that has to do, that has to do with multiverse theory as well. You know, either one of your other people's experienced it or time isn't linear or whatever the hell you want to say at that moment. Time is just a construct made up by man. So is it a wrinkle in time, by the way, you guys, was ahead of its time. Like wrinkle in time is a wild fucking book. And they talk about how, you know, there's point on a plane, then there's a plane, and then there's 3D, and then there's 4D, and it's pretty wild. 
But time is, you know, they say time isn't linear. There is no past, present, and future. It's all now. It's and one theory. It's time to make some bread. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to bed. Do you want to make some bread for daddy? Mm. It really is a good yeah, book. And honestly, good. you know, the fact is they made us read that in fifth grade. And I don't think, uh, I think it's lost on fifth graders. Do you want more um, What kind of bread? What kind, Just normal bread. Just Italian bread. bread. Italian bread. It's already four, dude. I think you need to at least start your bread. It's already four, and you still need to you still need to build my damn dresser. So I don't need to build shit. You do. I told you I'd do that later today. It's already four. How much later do you need? I told you after you got off work. And then we changed it back, and you were supposed to do it tonight. Nee. <sighs> So he's making he's making yeah, the opportunity to sit down now. I don't want to do anything. Yeah, I know that's exactly why I wanted you to do the shit before. I know you better than you know you. Some shit I done. So let's see. Let's 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 just play out how today is gonna go. Number one, I didn't want to come and sit down because he's gonna pull this shit. Number two, he's gonna tell me that he's gonna stay up all night because our friends are coming over at eight in the morning to play D. Well, I'm wide awake. And I will tell you, I'm going to work from three to five or three to eight. And he is going to quote unquote take a nap. And number one, he's not going to take a nap when he's supposed to. And then when he's supposed to be up, he ain't going to want to get up. We mean, yeah, you did. It hasn't happened yet. I said, yeah, I will. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you doing up? It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh, you usually get up around four, four thirty. I forgot. Right. But yeah, our friends are going to be here in like eight, four hours. So she's, she's going to be late. Oh, okay. You just woke up. Yeah, I work today. Yay. But then I'm off. Talked to her a, few, a little bit ago. Okay. He's just uh, fix it. Oh, he's making bread. I was just going to stay up. And then I was what I was going to do is I was just going to stay up. And then I was going to lay down from like 10 to 2. <laughs> I did have an hour stolen from me, basically. That's bullshit. Yeah, she probably realized, wait. It was a leap forward. So Well, I'm just worried about you. Because if now she's going to be late. Because she, she probably didn't realize about that. Yeah. But now, you know, now you're going to be up, you know, whatever. and I was going to be up till you went to work anyways. So it doesn't matter when well, she gets here. True. She, that has no play on it whatsoever. It sucks. You know, we're going to lay down. And in four hours, the dogs are going to bark their fucking heads off when she gets here. Or you can stay up and you can try some of my bread. I told you that in the car, and you're like, no, you have to work tomorrow. You need to go to bed. Remember, we had this whole conversation going dry on the way home. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, oh, yeah, I actually remember something shocker. Well, you reminded me. Yeah, because I said, I was like, I'll just stay up to like 10 and then I'll sleep like 10 to 2 and I then go in for 3. I'll get you. But <laughs> are we going to make our friends a charcuterie board? No. I'm going to chuck a dog at you. <laughs> He looked upset. Scary. I'm very frustrated because my work shirt mom. kept rubbing on this tattoo. And like the whole, it's still fucking red. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I got to work for five hours with this shirt that rubs on my tattoo. And it's like, it's making it red and pissy. Like I am damn tempted to rub fucking saran wrap around it tomorrow. That's what my friend told me. He's like, just rub, just put saran wrap around it. He was like, when I had my tattoo done up here, um, I, I, yeah, I'll get right on that before five o'clock tomorrow. I need, three o'clock tomorrow. What? I'm buying some crap to put on my arm. Um, he told me to go ahead and he was like, why don't you just put saran wrap on it? He's like, yeah, I know it sucks. He's like, but that's what I had to do. He was like, these shirts, when he got his tattoo right here, he's like, it like it fucked it up. And I, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm about damn tempted to put saran wrap on it tomorrow. We just bought some. Did you, did you see it out there by chance? I didn't look. I'm worried because I bought it and I don't know if I, I left it in the car. car. I didn't see it in the car. Well, then it's, oh, you know what is by the toaster oven. Buddy Buds. No, I, it's not, it's not going to work to be, it's not going to be able to work with anything. Um, because I move, I move my arms so much. It's, whatever I put on, it's going to fucking slide off. But I'm telling you, it is pissy, and it hurts, and I am not a happy camper. I only have to get through technically tomorrow, and then I'm off. 
a couple of days. I tend to work mainly weekends now for the most part. I work like usually like Monday and then I'll work the weekends or whatever. But um so it's 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 just gonna have to suck for tomorrow essentially. So but yeah. I've been on here entirely too long. I'm hungry too. Yeah, that's what I did. I came home and I took a shower and I washed it and put the stuff on it. I put the stuff on it a couple times now. Um, I'm definitely going to have to... It's going to suck tomorrow. I can tell you that. The shirt... The, what happens is... So the shirt is like a nice normal shirt, right? But then where the sleeve ends, it's kind of got that... It's just... It, it's rubby. It's very rubby. So... It's going to suck. And now I'm starting to get into the itchy phase. I don't DoorDash. I don't know. From what I understand, DoorDash can happen any time of the day or night, as far as I'm aware. It depends on which, where you're ordering. That's just, yeah, it's going to depend if there's people available. No, if where you're ordering is open. Well, that too. I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're going to McDonald's and it's, and it's 24 hour, you're good. But that's what I'm using as Aquaphor. 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 Right. Definitely. Some of ours are 24, some aren't. Can you not? I don't need to listen to them bark out there. Oh, we don't have an IHOP. And the IHOP that we had in my hometown was garbage. No, we have the Q. Yeah, we have DQ. We don't have a Denny's. Yeah, we don't have Denny's. We don't have any of that. Anyway, I gotta get off here. Okay. Okay. Goodbye.